Hello and welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Our night of movies from the 1960s and 70s starring Steve McQueen continues next with the picture generally considered his last great performance. From 1973, McQueen stars as Papillon. This is the true story, with enormous creative license taken, of a safe cracker named Henri Cherrier, who served decades on Devil's Island for a murder he claimed he didn't commit. Cherrier's nickname was Papillon, French for butterfly, and Cherrier had a butterfly tattoo, though the nickname also referred to his constant attempts to escape. McQueen stars opposite Dustin Hoffman as a fellow inmate serving a sentence for counterfeiting. The men form an unlikely friendship that involves Hoffman financing McQueen's escape attempts. The story is based on Henri Cherrier's autobiography, which became a bestseller. Unfortunately, Cherrier never got to see the movie. He died while the film was in post-production. Papillon was produced by Allied Artists, not a major studio player. And the company needed a $7 million loan to complete the movie. And the loan was guaranteed only on the condition that the film would be finished by the end of the year. This all went down in March. Given those time constraints, the production sped up considerably. But everyone delivered their piece of the work, from McQueen and Hoffman to director Franklin Schaffner to veteran screenwriter Dalton Trumbo, who managed to stay a few pages ahead of each day's shoot. Trumbo also played the prison camp commandant. They made the deadline, and Papillon turned out to be one of the year's top-grossing movies, despite some tension behind the scenes between the two big stars. We'll have more on that after the movie. From 1973, also with Victor Jory and George Kalouris, here are Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman in Papillon. On the set of Papillon, Steve McQueen, our star of the month, was the picture of professionalism, doing his scenes as required with co-star Dustin Hoffman. Off camera, however, the men barely spoke. They had entirely different approaches on how to prepare and then how to deliver on that preparation. When shooting together, McQueen kept urging Hoffman to subdue his usual hyper energy and underplay his role. Less man, less, McQueen told him. Toss that crap out. You don't need it. Keep it simple. McQueen, by the way, didn't say crap. One time, Hoffman invited friends to the set to watch, and McQueen threw him out. Despite all that, Hoffman later described their differences as a friendly rivalry. Hoffman said McQueen was a wonderful guy, kind and classy, but on set, said Hoffman, he got intense. Hoffman did make his voice heard when he learned McQueen was making nearly double Hoffman's salary. A remake of Papillon is scheduled for release this August. This 2018 version stars Charlie Hunnam in the title role with Rami Malek in the part played by Hoffman. Up next, Steve McQueen is back in a little-seen independent film based on a play by Henrik Ibsen. 